I was asked by a Detroit television station to shoot stills at the 2018 Woodward Dream Cruise. The Woodward Dream Cruise is a major Detroit event attracting well over a million people. Classic cars from all over the country cruise up and down Woodward Avenue from Nine Mile Road in Ferndale to Pontiac and back again. It's one massive retro party. I don't have much experience shooting cars, so luckily there was a classic car show a week before in Clawson, Michigan where I could practice. Shooting classic cars requires some care, but I felt pretty good about it and had a big weapon in my back pocket, Adobe Lightroom. First, I had to decide what cameras to use. I went to my go-to Canon 5D Mark III with a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom as my main camera and a Canon 7D with a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter wide angle lens as a second camera. I also decided to use a polarizing filter. Polarizers reduce glare and reflections. Chrome and car surfaces are very reflective so this gave me the option of reducing glare if I needed to. For the Clawson car show I took my 5D Mark III with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens only. I would be doing the bulk of the shooting with this camera at the Dream Cruise and I wanted to see what I could get with it. This is the first shot I took. Whether you're into classic cars or not, these are works of art. The owners are dedicated to their craft and pay a massive amount of attention to detail. This gave me a clue what to shoot. The day was bright and contrasty. I shot these around 12 o'clock in the afternoon which is probably the worst time to shoot, but this would be a pretty good test. Here's where Lightroom came into play. I dropped the exposure a little, bumped up the contrast a touch, along with the whites and blacks, and increased the clarity. I then used the graduated filter a few times to darken the sky and pavement, adding more focus to the car. Interiors also make for good shots, fuzzy dice and all. Here's where the radial filter comes in handy. I use it as a spotlight for the interior. Just enclose the area you want and increase the exposure. Make sure the invert mask is checked, otherwise Lightroom will act on the area outside the ellipse, and we want the opposite. I also lit up the interior a little bit in this shot, nothing too extreme. This is a more extreme example of lighting. The translucent orange paint really caught my eye and I really wanted to make the car stand out. First, I took the overall exposure way down then used a custom adjustment brush. I increased the exposure by a little over two stops and painted over the car. This increased the exposure of the car, making it stand out. A simple technique like this really highlights the cars and reduces background distractions. In this shot, I also used a custom adjustment brush, increased the exposure a little, and painted over the reflections on the chrome. I really like the flames and engine on this Camaro, so I decided to highlight those with a custom adjustment brush. I also lit up the wheels. So here's how to do it. This is a quick and dirty example, and if I was going to provide a client with this shot, I would have taken much more time, but I want you to get the gist of how to do this. The very first thing to do is decrease the overall exposure. I took this down four stops just for this example. Next, I use a custom adjustment brush. I jacked the exposure up a little to under three stops and simply painted over the car. This increased the exposure of the car, making it stand out. A simple technique like this really highlights the cars and reduces background distractions. To check where you've painted over, just hover over the black dot where you started. The area covered by the brush will turn red. When you're finished, just click the Done button. Do not neglect engines. Most of them are meticulously crafted and are visually pleasing. Grills and logos are also good subjects, captured on Dutch angles. Just tilt your camera and take a shot. This adds drama and a sense of motion to your shot, 
which is what these cars are all about. Here I lit up the headlight and the Cadillac logo with the radial filter. Here's a Ford logo from an old truck. The reflection caught my eye and made for a pretty decent shot. Look for cool and quirky details. I was attracted to the flame above the headlight in this shot. Again, look for details that are rare and make the car unique. This is one of the most iconic muscle car logos of all time, the Firebird. I lit this with a radial filter. This, to me, shows how much the owners love and care for their cars. This is an exact model, paint and all, of the car it's sitting on. So here's some shots from the 2018 Woodward Dream Cruise using the same techniques. As always, this is Jeff and thanks for watching.